Hi everyone, it's Chrissy and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. So in today's build, we're actually going to be building in Evergreen Harbor and I haven't built in Evergreen Harbor since I believe before the Werewolves pack came out was the last time that I did like any sort of build in Evergreen Harbor. So today we're actually going to be building in the Port Promise area of Evergreen and this is actually the lot where Bess Sterling used to live. I believe this is where Bess Sterling and Jules Rico, I think, used to live originally. But I did move them out and move in a family that I created for my save file. So yeah, this is for my save file. It's for my Rebuild Evergreen Harbor project. And the reason that I'm actually doing this build right now, before I finish off, you know, Oasis Springs, for my, for my like first version of my save is because this family actually ties into the Jensen Hale family that I did for Willow Creek. So the Jensen Hale family is the family that lives in that big mansion build that I did last week. So yeah, so this family actually like ties into, you know, that family and their story and everything. They're actually related to each other. So Basically, this is going to be a very kind of like run down, very, I guess, old, almost derelict looking townhouse. And it's a family townhouse. It's three bedrooms and two and a half bathrooms. And you will see that I did put one of the like debug shell houses that are actually, actually, yeah, you can see these like that specific one, I believe in the, I don't, I can't remember if it's the conifer station like part of evergreen harbor or the grim's quarry part i think it's conifestation but basically that debug house is actually one that came with you know eco lifestyle and so it kind of like fits you know the overall style of the pack and everything the overall building style of the pack but the reason i put that there is because i wanted the house to i wanted this house to not be like super big but obviously this is a 30 by 20 lot and originally i did just build you know this family's house like the one that i'm actually building i just did that one and when i was you know planning it out and it looked so empty you know with this whole big open area around it because this lot is actually in a kind of like open space as well you'll see all of like the concrete around it so it's kind of like a big open area so it looked really really weird just having this one small house you know in this middle of this huge open space because the original house that was on this lot the ones where best the one where best sterling used to live was actually like i think three or four stories and it was just it's a it was a really weird build i'm not gonna lie i really really disliked that build a lot but it was a lot bigger than the one that i ended up building so obviously you know that didn't look as out of place but basically the reason that i used the debug house is because i wanted these like i wanted this house to feel like you know it was actually surrounded by other things so you know i wanted to make it feel a little bit closer together a little bit more i guess inhabited if that makes sense so obviously that is just a debug house it's not functional it doesn't serve a purpose it's just like for aesthetics but i really like the way it looked and it also gave me kind of like a style to go for for the house that i ended up building so yeah it was kind of fun trying to get them to match a little bit obviously they look nothing alike but you know they kind of fit the same style vibes i guess but anyway so Basically, the house that I'm building is supposed to be a very run down, like very old looking townhouse type thing. And I say townhouses because where I'm from, you would class these as townhouses since, you know, they don't share a wall, but they do kind of like share a fence, if that makes sense. So they would, you know, be known as townhouses. But anyway, so yeah, it's supposed to look like a very old house. So in my head, the family actually bought this house you know maybe this house was like totally abandoned basically before they bought it and it was totally run down completely abandoned you know very maybe there wasn't even like in my head there probably wasn't even like kitchen counters in the kitchen anymore there probably wasn't you know plumbing stuff in any of the bathrooms everything was just gone it was basically like a run down thing it was probably on the point of getting torn down as well but they actually bought this house and they're kind of like renovating it as they you know as they have the money 
So to tell you guys a little bit about the family, we'll kind of explain more about the house story as well. But yeah, so at the moment we have five Sims in the household and I will have put a picture of them on the screen. But basically we have the Hale family and was it the Hale? No, they're not supposed to be called the Hales. Oh my soul. Yeah, I just, um, yeah, I just, I just realized that they're not supposed to be called the Hale family. Which, yeah, let's just, let's just, it's, they're not, it's not for the Hale family. I'll come up with another surname. <laughs> but this makes no, okay, yeah, I totally messed up their names. Apologies, but I will fix their surnames before I upload them to the gallery. <laughs> I can't believe I messed that up. Thank goodness I just caught that. But anyway, it's for the, I, I don't know, for this family. I'm not going to give their last name because I don't have a last name for them at the moment. <laughs> But basically, we have this family. We have the dad, Shane. Now, Shane is actually the brother of Madeline Hale, who was one of the Sims in the, like, Jensen Hale family for that big mansion. Basically, it's the youngest brother's sister. Not youngest brother's, what am I saying? It's the youngest brother's wife in that, you know, the, the Jensen Hale family. Basically, she is a, she's in the criminal career and, you know, she grew up pretty, you know, basically her brother kind of raised her because maybe their parents passed away when they were quite young. I guess her brother would have been maybe like a senior in high school or something like that when their parents passed and she's younger than her brother as well. So basically her brother Shane, who's, you know, the dad and the husband in this household, he kind of like dropped out of high school and he, you know, basically took care of his younger sister and they kind of both fell into the criminal career and he was in the criminal career for quite a while. He's actually kind of like on the tail end of being a young adult. He's almost an, like an actual adult. He's, I think... I think he's like 18 days into being a young adult, so he has like 6 days or so left of being a young adult. But basically he was in the criminal career for a very long time. His sister is obviously still in the criminal career. But yeah, he was in the criminal career for a very long time. And he actually ended up having a daughter with, you know, some random sim. I don't, I never even created her. So yeah, just some random sim. Anyway, he ended up having a daughter that he actually raised. So the teenager in the household, the one with the bright red hair, her name is Jo. And she's actually, you know, obviously the oldest one. She was raised by her dad. So they're very close. They're very like... You know, they're kind of the only two people that, you know, the other one could ever count on, if that makes sense. And they used to live in San Myshuno. They used to live in a very, I guess, you know, rougher part of San Myshuno, I guess I could say. Because, you know, the dad was in the criminal career and everything like that. But he kind of like, he was saving up to move them out. To, you know, get his daughter and everything, every, like, get out of that area of San Myshuno. But then he actually ended up meeting Brianna. Now, Brianna is the mom in this household. And she actually also has a daughter from, like, a previous relationship. So she and a boyfriend or something ended up having a daughter a couple of years ago. And they had Kennedy. So Kennedy is the child so in the household. And basically, her boyfriend or whatever ended up, you know, kicking the bucket. Let's just say he ended up kicking the bucket. And yeah, so she was raising Kennedy on her own as well. And she met Shane, they, you know, fell in love, all of that stuff. And she ended up getting pregnant. So yeah, th she ended up getting pregnant before they got married and all of that stuff. And she told him that, you know, if he wants to marry her or whatever, and if he like wants to, you know, have a family with her, basically, he needs to quit his, you know, criminal criminal career stuff and all of that stuff so basically they kind of like pooled their resources and they ended up buying this house together so they ended up you know they were you know Brianna was probably living in San Myshuno as well she's actually a freelance writer and yeah so she makes you know decent money she's not like rolling in money obviously because she is just a freelance writer but she makes decent money and you know she was also living in San Myshuno but they decided that, you know, they're going to completely move and they decided to like pool their resources, pool their savings 
and they ended up buying this house in Evergreen Harbor. So it's not obviously in the nicest area of Evergreen Harbor. It's also, you know, not the nicest house either or anything like that. But, you know, with their combined savings, they were actually able to buy this house. And, you know, they own it now and so they can fix it up as they, you know, have the money to do so. So they ended up moving to Evergreen Harbor. Obviously, you know, Shane quit his job and he's currently working part time as a manual laborer. So obviously in The Sims, the manual laborer career is kind of like, you know, gardening stuff and like landscaping stuff. But in my head, he probably works in like construction or something. I really wish we had a construction, like we, I really wish we had like a construction job in The Sims, even if it was just like a part time thing where you know they did some construction gigs and stuff and not like the not like the engineering one that we got with eco lifestyle where they're like civil planners and like architect type stuff i really mean like construction construction so yeah i really wish we had that as a career in the game but anyway so in my head that's kind of what his manual laborer career like entails but because that's only part-time, he only works, you know, Saturdays and Sundays because it's kind of set up to be like four teenagers. So yeah, he only works Saturdays and Sundays and obviously Brianna is a freelance writer. So she kind of like works on her own time. She works from home and all of that stuff. But I figured that they probably picked up, you know, they probably both pick up like odd jobs, you know, during the week or when, you know, maybe when Brianna doesn't have a writing gig or, you know, during the week when Shane doesn't have work, he picks up, you know, like free, not freelance stuff, but like those odd jobs that came with, I think, Eco Life, not Eco Lifestyle with Island Living, I think is when the odd job thing was introduced. So yeah, maybe they both pick up odd jobs and, you know, doing whatever they can for cash and stuff whilst, you know, Shane figures out kind of what he wants to do with his life. Because in my head, he has been in the criminal career forever. Like he was in, he started in the criminal career probably when he was a teenager or something. So it's kind of the only thing that he ever did for like a job, if that makes sense. He also, since we got, you know, the high school years pack, we can now have our Sims like actually show that, you know, they're either like high school dropouts or they were kicked out of high school or stuff like that. Now, Shane's sister, Madeline, actually was kicked out of high school. I set it up that way when I did, you know, that family and their story and stuff. But yeah, so she was actually kicked out of high school. And then I also like gave her like her GED afterwards, if that makes sense, so that she could go to university. But Shane never got his GED and he obviously never, you know, went to university or anything like that. So currently he's basically just a high school dropout. And, you know, he's kind of in the process of figuring out what he wants to do. Does he want to get his GED and, you know, do something else it's not something that he's ever really thought of if that makes sense so he's never really thought about doing anything like that he's never given it any thought so currently that's kind of what he's like doing you know whilst he's also working part-time doing odd jobs and fixing up the house so yeah he has a lot on his plate and then obviously they also have their youngest which is their toddler that they have together so yeah, this house is quite busy. You guys will notice that we have moved on into, you know, the interior and all of that stuff whilst I've been talking. But I did have to cut out quite a bit of, you know, footage of this build because otherwise it would have been like a 50 plus minute video. And I just, I didn't want to do a video that long for a house that's actually not all that big. It's only on a 30 by 20 lot, like I said, but the majority of the lot is actually taken up by the shell house. Those containers that I have in the backyard that actually serve a purpose, which we'll get to later on. And then they do have quite a nice sized backyard. But again, I wanted to make it look like it's a very, very run down kind of lot. So you'll notice that in the front yard as well, they have that little like front yard. Everything is very overgrown, very almost like half dead looking all of the plants and the grass and stuff because that's just the kind of vibe that I was going for in my head having a very green lawn like a very like 
very 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 green lawn in an area like this in like evergreen harbor which you know this neighborhood actually has a like industrial footprint like originally currently i have it turned off in my game completely because it annoys me <laughs> but basically you know the story of port promise in you know the eco lifestyle pack is that it's a very industrial era it has an industrial footprint you know all of that stuff so having a very green lawn looked so out of place to me so i wanted to make it look like you know all of the grass and everything was a little bit more not dead because i do figure that shane would you know now that they've moved in they do take care of it but you know it's kind of just starting to come back to life again and you know it's still kind of a little bit more yellow than green if that makes sense and it's also it is a little bit overgrown and all of that stuff i figured they probably haven't lived here that long maybe a couple of months so obviously not long enough for them to fix up the whole house and they also don't have the money to fix up the whole house either so obviously you know they moved from the city both of them were probably living in an apartment or something like that that they were probably renting as well so they bought this house with their savings and you know they had to they bought this house and the house didn't have any plumbing stuff in it you know everything was gone for whatever reason like there wasn't any showers toilets anything they didn't have anything in the kitchen like all of the cabinets and stuff were either totally gone or like completely unusable so they couldn't use it so they basically had to buy the house as it was and then they had to use the rest of their savings to kind of just like retrofit everything that they needed so they have like new kitchen cabinets and counters they have all of the bathrooms have very similar furniture not furniture but like plumbing items fixtures and that's basically the only thing that they could really like afford putting in like new if that makes sense so like the only renovations type stuff that they could do they couldn't like replace any of the wallpapers or flooring or anything like that so everything is very kind of like old and gross and dingy and not not very like I, I really wanted to make it look old and like dated and all of that stuff so I hope I accomplished that but yeah so they couldn't really like fix any of the other stuff in the house yet and then the backyard is also it's kind of like just cleaned up so in my head there would have been a lot of trash and just a lot of junk and everything everywhere when they moved in so they have cleaned all of that out you know of their yard space it's a little bit overgrown but there's no like junk or anything like lying around but yeah so they set up the backyard it's one of the first things that they did because you know they lived in the city so obviously kennedy who's the child never really had a yard because obviously they lived in the city so they lived in like an apartment like her whole life growing up so she never had a backyard and obviously they have the toddler now as well so they really wanted to make the backyard a nice place for all of the kids so yeah there's like a toddler pool out there there's a little monkey monkey bars thing that you know shane probably set up for kennedy because kennedy is like very she's very like she's actually has the rambunctious scamp aspiration the child so she's very into like athletics and activities and doing a bunch of stuff so she's also in the scouts as well so i do have the little scout board upstairs for her but yeah so she has the little monkey bars thing there's a toddler pool there's also that kind of like tent looking thing that came with honestly i think it came with eco lifestyle i could be wrong it didn't come with cottage living but i think it came with eco lifestyle the little tent thing that toddlers and children can play in so I have that set up outside. I also have a little like sandbox sand pit area that I built that I set up with. Basically, I just used some debug planks to kind of like form the framework of it. And then I just used terrain paint, some base game like desert sandy terrain paint. And your sims can actually build sand castles and stuff like that in that sand. So it actually functions as a sand pit. But I also put a couple of, you know, just sports balls like a soccer ball, a basketball, a football and stuff like that in the sand pit. I also put a couple of toys for both, you know, the toddler or the kid out there as well as some as well as some like toddler blocks and stuff. So they can actually play in the sand pit. It's not just, you know, 
a decorative thing so yeah they have a lot to do outside there's also a grill and a little like dining table space and everything like that so yeah there's a lot to do outside you know there's also a clothes line at, outside as well i think i will have put that you know there on camera but the reason i put a clothes line outside is because the house actually doesn't have a dryer so it does it is set up for laundry so the half bathroom downstairs actually has a washing machine in it but it doesn't have a dryer so yeah i wanted to set it up that way intentionally because again you know the family had to either bring stuff from their old apartments or they had to buy new stuff when they moved in and maybe they just couldn't afford a dryer maybe they got their like washer second hand or something and they couldn't find a dryer so they have a clothesline so it's a little bit more of a like hassle to do laundry but you know that you can do laundry if you do end up downloading this house and you don't want to play with laundry just make sure to delete like all of the laundry hampers that i have i have a laundry hamper in the downstairs bathroom by the washing machine as well as in the parents bathroom so those are the only two laundry hampers in the house just make sure to delete both of those as well as the washing machine downstairs and the clothesline so if you do if you like delete all of those things then your sims won't spawn laundry either so you'll be fine if you don't want to play with that but moving back to the rest of the house so like I said, I wanted to make it look like they brought a lot of their old furniture with them. So originally, you know, it was, you know, the dad and the teenage daughter and the mom and the child daughter. Obviously, they lived, you know, separately and they had their own apartments and all of that stuff. So I wanted to make it look like the mom and the dad basically combined their furniture or a lot of their furniture. So you'll notice that... A lot of the furniture, you know, some of it is very boho and colorful and, you know, a little bit more vintage, some of the stuff as well. And you also have a couple of like really nice paintings in the living spaces and stuff. And all of those items I figured would have been the moms. So the desk in the parents' bedroom as well as their bed as well. You know, the desk, she has a desk in her bedroom because, you know, obviously she's a freelance writer. So she does work from home so i figured you know give her a desk it's probably one that she had in her old apartment as well so like her bed like the parents bed and the desk and stuff in there maybe even the curtains or something or all stuff that were like the moms and you know that she kind of brought from her apartment and in my head the dad probably lived in like a one bedroom apartment with his daughter so maybe he like slept in the living room in like a murphy bed or something and the daughter had you know the bedroom so obviously you know didn't want to bring the murphy bed so he you know kept the mom's bed moved that in the daughters though you'll notice that currently we're actually working on their bedroom and the house is a three bedroom house but they have three kids so i didn't really want to make you know either of the sisters now now sisters I didn't want to make either of the sisters have to share with the toddler just because usually I kind of hate having like older kids share rooms with a toddler just because it can get really irritating if the toddler like wakes up and decides to wake up one of their siblings and stuff like that. It just it annoys me for some reason. So I decided to give the toddler his own room and then we have the girls sharing a room. Now You'll notice that this room is probably the messiest room out of the whole house. I did make the whole house quite messy to begin with. There's a lot of clutter, there's a lot of toys and, you know, stuff just lying around. And that's because I figured, you know, both of these parents, they're fairly busy. They, you know, either they're working their actual jobs or they're doing odd jobs. They're, you know, trying to fix up the house as well as quickly as they can so they don't really pay attention to you know where the kids you know are leaving their toys and stuff so it's not like dirty it's just messy so there's a lot of stuff just lying around but basically the daughter's room it's probably the messiest room in the whole house because i wanted to make it look like they both have very different styles so the teenager as you could probably tell from you know her picture on the screen she's a very she she's a little bit more gothic she does love you know she wears plain just black she's very 
into you know partying she's not really into school work at all she actually i gave her the fear of homework you know with the new fears system i gave her the fear of homework so yeah she doesn't really like school work she is more into partying and clubbing and she's actually really into djing as well so she's kind of into music and stuff and yeah she has a very different style from the younger daughter so the younger daughter is obviously like i said in the scouts she's more like active and outdoorsy as well so she loves orange and blue and you know stuff like that so i wanted to make their room kind of look like they also had to combine furniture from their own from their old rooms so you know maybe obviously you know the bunk beds probably are some of the more newer furniture that the family just you know had to buy when they moved they couldn't fit into like separate beds so they bought the bunk beds for the girls but obviously you know the bedspreads and stuff are totally different a lot of like the clutter and posters and everything in my head those are all things that they brought from their old you know old bedrooms and you know now the bedroom is just a mix match of a bunch of different things and it's super messy it's super cluttered but everything does work i did play test absolutely everything in this house i actually played in this house for about a day or two you know in sim time so everything works you know your sims can do everything that they need to they can access everything you know everything works i didn't have any issues with any of that so yeah that's just a little disclaimer so everything is play tested and all of that stuff but yeah, so that's the teenager's room. We've already done like basically the whole interior and we've moved on to the exterior. But yeah, like I said, I wanted to have a lot of the items look like they've brought them from their old houses. So like I said, you know, the mom stuff was the more boho kind of colorful things. The dad's stuff would have been probably the, some of the more run down items so you know maybe the dining table and you know one of the couches or stuff like that the couch that actually end up ends up being in this little shipping container thing at the back probably came from their apartment and then also the big you know kind of expensive electronics in the living space so in the living room we actually had a really big like flat screen tv and a big stereo so yeah the dad is also quite into music as well so he and his daughter probably would have splurged on like a big stereo like sound system when they lived alone so yeah they brought that from their apartment and you know just a couple more of the i guess more run down darker items are probably from their old apartment and then obviously in the shed i kind of not it's not really a shed it's actually a shipping container or supposed to look like a shipping container anyway but basically in that like shared shipping container thing it's kind of like the dad's workspace so like i mentioned he does work you know in my head construction but he's also probably you know quite handy so he is really good at fixing stuff stuff up and you know in my head he's the one that's doing a lot of like you know the home improvements to the house and fixing it up and all of that stuff so he has like a little workroom so there's a couch in there that's probably you know like i said their old couch from his apartment there's a woodworking table a kind of like makeshift bookcase there's also some workout equipment as well because he is quite active so maybe that's a career that he'll you know decide to follow now that he's kind of like out of his old career and looking for a new one maybe he'll end up in some sort of you know athletic career or something if that's something that you wanted to play out but yeah he does have a boxing like a boxing bag as well as a yeah a weights machine in that room as well and then i also put a like really small tv it's actually the one from the debug menu from eco lifestyle I actually ended up putting that in there as well as another stereo and yeah i also ended up putting a dartboard in there as well so it's kind of like a hangout space for him to you know just i guess hang out and do some you know whatever he wants to do the teenager probably also hangs out in there quite a bit so yeah she's not really happy with the whole like expanding family thing she doesn't really like that she also she kind of you know preferred it just being her and her dad she you know she never really knew her mom in my head either so she never knew her mom she doesn't really want you know a new mom i say in air quotes 
So she's not really happy about her father, you know, marrying someone else and suddenly having like siblings and all of that stuff. She was an only child her whole life and she kind of preferred it that way. So she probably hangs out in here quite a bit as well because, you know, just to get away from everyone since, you know, she actually now shares a bedroom with her younger like stepsister as well so yeah she probably hangs out here quite a bit too you know maybe she and her friends or whatever when her dad isn't in here or something but yeah that's basically the whole house and I probably did a really bad job of explaining all of their family stories and stuff like that and how they connect to other sims but honestly I'm doing this without any notes for the family so I think I did okay. I think I like mentioned everything that I needed to mention or wanted to mention. But yeah the only other things we're going to be doing is we're going to be finishing off this like container and then we're going to be doing that little like I guess almost like alley junk area like next to it. So between the two houses there's between the one like the shell house and this shipping container there's this little area of basically just junk kind of like almost a junkyard type thing so that's probably where the like the sims just put all of the stuff that was in their backyard when they moved in they kind of just moved it so in my head that's kind of like a i guess communal space where it's kind of like just you know all of the junk that's waiting to go you know to the junkyard or something so there's also a really big dumpster in there from eco lifestyle and just a bunch of random clutter and you know just junk basically like very literally just junk so yeah that's probably the last thing i think that we're going to be ending up doing so yeah i should probably start wrapping up this voiceover apologies if my voice sounds a little bit weird i'm not really used to recording voiceovers that are this long and i say that knowing that the last two videos that i've done have all been like over 40 minutes and I don't know why my videos recently have been like so long, but I've just been taking, it's been taking me so long these days to actually just build and finish something. So that's why all of my videos have been this long, which is really irritating, honestly, because it makes editing them an absolute nightmare and doing long voiceovers, as you can tell, my voice doesn't really doing like doing long voiceovers. So I sound super croaky and apologies for that. And I'm also kind of like all over the place because I'm recording this like like early in the evening which uh, if you know me isn't my usual recording time. But anyway if you want to download this build it is up on the gallery. All of the download information will be in the description as usual. So yeah if you want to download it all of the stuff is down there. The sims will also be up on the gallery as well. And if you like this video, give it a like, hit subscribe, you know, all of that fun YouTube, you know, stuff. I can't remember my own outro, but I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you on my very next one. Bye everyone. Dancing on a wire, reckless lip sync. We found holes in these walls. We like what we saw. Seems so strong until it falls. The final straw. It was always on fire, our house.